let's talk about one of the other museum pieces, okay? And by the way, we'll recall no less a personage than Rand Morissette, now the rankings editor for Golf Magazine, said that the par threes at Forest Gate are as good as the par threes at Pine Valley, okay? And here's a perfect example, the gorgeous short, with a capital S, at number 12, which is called Horseshoe in this case. And we can bring in Donnie. Donnie, how do you maintain that gorgeous thumbprint in that green so perfectly and get the ball to roll so absolutely true on those fierce contours? Uh, you know, maintaining greens with this kind of contouring, um, you know, I, I played around with different machines. Um, you know, I, I've, I've kind of dialed in, uh, you know, with the machines I like, but, you know, it's not, let me tell you, maintaining something like that, um, the first time I sprayed it, because I, I, I drove across it on a sprayer and I thought to myself, how am I going to spray this thing uh, without a spray hawk? But I've, I've gotten good at it. I think the first time I sprayed that green, I went down the side of the hill with the sprayer. Um, <laughs> So it is a bit of a challenge, and, you know, when we talked a little bit about, uh, you know, the, the steepness of those banks, my crew, um, I've got to send out a crew of six guys, um, and it takes them two days to uh, to mow, which I, when I say you guys are mowing bunker banks, you know, I hear that, I hear that grumble, because they're dropping rotary mowers down the hillsides with ropes, and uh, very, very labor intensive. Um, so, and you know, that's one of the biggest challenges at Forest Gate with maintaining these these uh, these surrounds and, and these, you know, what I call the green surround. You know, it's really, really impressive surrounds. 